When you hear the term off the grid, this is what it looks like. Within this 920 acre parcel of land in Shasta County, there's not a single power pole, telephone wire, or even a gas line. In fact, the only grid on this land is a network of logging roads. Logging roads that ultimately end up here. It's all steam. We have no electricity. We're off of the grid. You're looking at the Phillips Brothers Mill in Oak Run, the oldest continually operating steam-powered sawmill in the nation. The steam engine is pre-turn uh, of the century. It would be out of the 1800s. The sawmill cut its first board in 1897. Back then, it was water power. Steam was introduced in the 1930s, and after the original Phillips brothers passed away, their nephew Gary Hendricks kept the family logging legacy alive. After all of these years, why are you still doing steam? Because it's economical for us, because we don't, we're not paying a huge electric bill. The sawmill is completely self-sufficient. Nothing here is wasted. Each one of the four steam engines are powered by burning leftover wood and sawdust from the milling process. So when I open the door, I open it like this, because sometimes the flames will come flying out at you. Feeding the boiler is a dangerous job, one that Gary's granddaughter, Sarah Hendricks, doesn't take lightly. It's her job to make sure that the water levels in the boiler don't run out. What, what happens if the water goes down? Um, well, if the water goes down, empty and it kept burning, the boiler would explode. It, it can explode? Yeah. <laughs> oh. While Sarah keeps things from exploding, her dad, Greg Hendricks, keeps the engines moving. So once the steam's in there in the cylinder, it comes into one end, uh, pushes the cylinder to the other end, and it comes into the other end and pushes it back the other way. The steam engines are relatively simple. The water in the boiler creates high pressure steam. That steam pushes a piston that turns the engine that ultimately powers the saw. They just go and go and go and go and very little When things do break, it's off to the steam powered machine shop, which is filled with tools you'd only find in a museum. You guys can't just go down to the hardware store, huh? That's right. Quite often you want to just rebuild the parts yourself. Steam power is undoubtedly reliable, but it's also slow. And that's what makes it hard to compete with modern sawmills. We don't try to compete because we can't compete with modern mills and lumber companies. Custom lumber, that's what keeps this mill going. The wood that's produced here is not available at your average lumber store. The thick, rough cut slabs will ultimately be used in high-end, expensive homes and cabins. Let there be light. The other profitable side of the mill is the box shop. Back in the 1980s, Gary found a niche market for making custom wine crates and novelty boxes. He even creates the own artwork himself. This, this is one that we just did as a gift box for people. As old as it may be, the sawmill will continue to run this way. In 2002, the Phillips Brother Mill was listed on the National Registry for Historic Places. And the timber is protected by a conservation easement that requires responsible logging for the future generations. And then the other thing is tradition. We love our family heritage and tradition. From the steam-filled forests of Oak Run, California, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.